Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the College of Arts and Humanities Arts in Motion celebration. It is my distinct honor to welcome to the stage, virtually, our esteemed chair of our advisory board, Haley Wagner Drilling. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate some truly outstanding students within the College of Arts and Humanities at Fresno State. My name is Haley Wagner Drilling, and I currently serve as Chair of the Arts and Humanities Advisory Board. The board consists of 20 carefully selected community members willing to make a personal commitment to support the College of Arts and Humanities. Our goal is to create and promote a positive image for and understanding of the college. We work hand in hand with the students, faculty, and leadership to increase funding, enhance student enrollment, and highlight the connection between the college and the Central Valley's art, cultural, and educational institutions. We also get to celebrate the talents of our students like we are today. I joined the advisory board because of my experience at Fresno State. I'm an alumna of the college, having graduated with my bachelor's in interior design. Although I've moved on to a career outside of the scope of my degree, I know that my time as a student and the skills that I acquired continue to positively impact my abilities as a person, a businesswoman, and as a humanist. The arts have always been a passion of mine. I grew up in New York where museums, libraries, and public art were frequent and often free. As I grew older, I realized that this was not necessarily the norm, and it became very important to me to support the arts in the community I now call home. The college offers a wide array of degree programs with a diverse curriculum, but more importantly, it continues to produce amazing individuals. Individuals with so much talent, with so much opportunity and drive to make the world better. Whether through creating art or reporting events or providing functional spaces, I am forever amazed at the talent that passes through the halls, or in this case of the last year, the Zoom frames. It is my honor to congratulate all of the students of distinction on behalf of the Arts and Humanities Advisory Board, each of them representing the very best of their college. We hope you enjoy the program and thank you for sharing the afternoon with us. Thank you so much, Haley, for all you do to lead our phenomenal advisory board. And thank you all for joining us today. The College of Arts and Humanities Arts in Motion is the event that exhibits our creativity and reminds us of how our college and university provide an excellent education and transform lives. Unfortunately, we could not hold this year's celebration in person, but we're excited to acknowledge the achievements of our college's most accomplished students. From the creative artists to the humanists, every one of this year's Students of Distinction reflects the experimentation, compassion, and inquisitiveness that Fresno State fosters. Before we announce our Students of Distinction, we would like to thank four groups without whom our students in college cannot reach their full potential. First, the members of the Arts and Humanities Advisory Board and its chair, Haley Wagner. They come from a variety of backgrounds and professions within our community, but have dedicated themselves to supporting the college's efforts to bring the best possible education and cultural programming to our Central Valley. Second, Lee, we would like to thank the members of the Dean's Council. The Dean's Council provides critical funding for our students and professors to achieve their intellectual and professional goals. We also wish to thank those kind people who have sponsored our Students of Distinction. Their names can be found on the program uploaded to the website. Finally, we would like to thank the donors of the over 120 named scholarships that are also listed on the program. Their generosity has helped over 250 arts and humanities students pay for tuition, books, supplies, and more. Many thanks to all of our donors and congratulations to the scholarship recipients who have joined us today. It is also important for us to recognize the individuals who have mentored these amazing students we celebrate today. Every day, Sergio and I are so impressed by the resilience and dedication of our faculty who rapidly transformed their mode of teaching over a year ago. 
Hand in hand with our dedicated chairs have worked the department staff members who also quickly adapted to the virtual realm with so much patience and professionalism. Many thanks as well to the college's central staff members. Krista Hall, Nadia Margeson, and Felicia Salcido have been phenomenal academic counselors. Dr. Cindy Arrutia, the executive director of our college's Center for Creativity and the Arts, has continued to provide vibrant online exhibitions. Our college's director of development, Munja Yunoe, and Sheila Sorensen have outdone themselves this year, raising vital support for our college. Senior budget analyst Kathy Salanitro also deserves tremendous thanks for her tireless work and dedication, as does Carol Sarah for continuing to help us on special college projects. Last but not least, we are so grateful to our communications specialist, Benjamin Kirk, who spearheaded the entire Arts in Motion Showcase Week and produced this Arts in Motion event. Thank you, everyone. Now it is our great honor and pleasure to introduce to you the College of Arts and Humanities 2021 Students of Distinction. Their dedication to their studies as well as to our community is an inspiration to us all. We will present the Students of Distinction by their departments in alphabetical order. Each one will receive a Certificate of Merit and a monetary award from the Dean's Council. Let's begin with the Department of Art and Design. Our graduate student of distinction from the Department of Art and Design with an emphasis in studio art is Eric Escovedo. Eric's master's exhibit focuses on the intersection of art and critical race theory. Eric has worked hard as an advocate for Native American issues and wants to become a high school art teacher so that he can inspire younger generations of students through art. Professor Keith Jordan notes that, quote, Eric has a strong grasp of critical social theory and a deep knowledge of history that inform his efforts to develop concept-driven art, bridging social commentary and personal experience. Professor Nick Potter concurs, writing that the heart of Eric's work is, quote, addressing the extremely important subject matter of race and identity and challenging the use of romanticized and demonized depictions of his people. Congratulations, Eric. Hello, my name is Eric Escovito, and um, I am the Dean's Medalist nominee for the Department of Art Design uh, for the, you know, the graduate uh, studies representative. And uh, first and foremost, I want to give thanks to my family, uh, my mother, my stepfather, and um, my aunt, Denise, who was uh, very um, crucial in me going back to school as an adult and pursuing education. And uh, part of the reason I'm here today is those three people have been a really big support system around me through uh, my time here at Fresno State and prior at City College. And speaking of City College, I want to give thanks to my professors that were there from the Ethnic Studies and the Art Department uh, who helped me uh, figure out this uh, trajectory with the interdisciplinary uh, studies within uh, not only as an undergrad, but as a graduate student. And uh, as, as far as graduate studies in my department here at Fresno State, uh, Professor uh, Keith Jordan, uh, Nicholas Potter, and Stephanie Ryan, who are also my graduate committee, have uh, been really, really crucial in helping me grow um, intellectually, artistically, um, and just overall as an academic and as, as a, a, a blooming professional. And so they were really important in helping me grow in all these different ways and have uh, were the people to nominate me and um, believed in and, and believed me enough to go ahead and put me forward for this uh, opportunity to perhaps be the Dean's Medalist. So I'm really thankful for people inside the educational institutions, my uh, Native American community, um, the people of this land, the Yokuts and Mono tribes, gonna you know, land acknowledgement to the people that are here because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. None of us to hear this institution wouldn't be here. So gotta give thanks to that also. And uh, I'm honored, thank you. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of Art and Design with an emphasis in animation 
is Sadie Gleason. Dr. Timothy Skeen describes Sadie as, quote, one of the most promising students at Fresno State. She is an accomplished artist, poet, and prose writer. Professor Paula Durrett notes that, quote, her animations carry a strong sense of authorship, along with strong technical proficiency. They are of a professional caliber. A President's Honors Scholar in the Smith Camp Family Honors College, Sadie has also performed impactful community service. Sadie will be pursuing an M MFA in creative writing and hopes to write for an animated movie or publish her own book or comic. comic. Congratulations, Sadie. Hi everyone. First off, I would like to thank the Department of Art and Design at Fresno State for nominating me for this award. It is truly an honor to be chosen as a student of distinction. To my professors and especially Professor Durrett, thank you for all your support and guidance. To Dr. Attar and the Honors College staff, I'm so grateful for everything you do for Smith Camp students and the program. I'm also grateful for the Arts and Humanities Honors Program, which gave me the opportunity to develop a semester-long project and learned about so many different topics within the broad scope of Arts and Humanities. And a huge thank you to my family for always supporting me and to my parents for being my first teachers and inspiring a love of learning. As a first year college student, I never would have imagined I'd be able to do so much here. And I'm grateful for every opportunity I've had at Fresno State to expand my knowledge of my craft, myself, and the world around me. And I definitely didn't expect to be recognized at the Arts in Motion ceremony as a graduating senior alongside all these other amazing students. Once again, I am honored and humbled to be chosen for this award. And I can't thank everyone enough for helping me get to where I am today. Our graduate student of distinction from the Department of Communication is Victoria Cisneros. Victoria is an accomplished scholar who has already presented at three conferences and is a co-author with Dr. Sergio Juarez on a book chapter on resistance to migration rhetoric through Instagram captions. Victoria currently works as a marketing writer for the university's brand strategy and marketing office, and she plans on pursuing a career in marketing that is guided by a critical perspective and humanistic values. The department is sure that Victoria will make a large impact on her field. As Dr. Adams notes, the value that Victoria places on turning knowledge into action and action into knowledge embodies the central role communication plays in constructing and living in symbolically orchestrated worlds. Congratulations, Victoria. Thank you all for being here today, and thank you to the Dean, the Associate Dean, and all the people who have contributed to putting on this event. First, I'd like to thank my department and all of the professors who's, who have supported me during my time at Fresno State. Specifically, I'd like to thank my advisor, Dr. Juarez, who has guided me through the publishing process of our co-authored book chapter, and who has encouraged me to pursue every opportunity that comes my way. I'd also like to thank Dr. Blair, who encouraged me to apply to the MA program and whose support has been instrumental in helping me develop my own scholarly identity. I'd also like to thank my friends, Primavera Martinez and Drew Oaks. You inspire me to be a better scholar and a better person, and I'm so excited to see what we do next. Finally, I'd like to thank my fellow nominees whose hard work has not gone, gone unnoticed. You exemplify what it means to be an artist and a humanist who's not only trying to find their place in this world, but striving to make it better. Thank you all. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of Communication is Robert Ortega. Robert is a Smith Camp President's Honor Scholar, Vice President of Sigma Nu Fraternity, and a participant in the College of Arts and Humanities Honors Program. His thesis project, a multimedia interview-based documentary regarding K-12 public education, exemplifies his dedication to educating people in the Valley and to helping others. As the department chair, Professor Ayotte notes, Robert is an outstanding student who chose to work hard to make the most of the opportunities afforded him. Dr. Kozen observes that Robert's work in rhetorical methods showed nuanced understandings of complex issues requiring time, effort, and care. Robert aspires to be an educator who will mentor students to realize their goals. Congratulations, Robert. I'm so grateful for my time here at Fresno State. I, I've done more than I could ever imagine and have more opportunities that have come my way than, than I could have ever dreamed of. And I'm definitely very appreciative of it. 
I think it's, it's just been a long road coming and it definitely started with my family from a young age, specifically my parents, my sister, my grandparents, just everyone that ever cared, showed love for me and, and really built me into the person I am. My extended family as well, obviously, just being there, showing me about human life, human interaction and, and just learning things like that. And obviously taking into academics, I, I got a really good group of friends out of the schools I went to and it's definitely the family I chose and I hold them near and dear and, and they're with me today and I couldn't ask for more. Also, obviously, just the people that, that took the time and the care to, to help educate me and um, really take my academics seriously, my, my professors, my teachers in high school, administrators, um, and then all the way to Fresno State now with uh, just all the courses and just different things that have really built me to be the person I am today. And, and I, I just really, really wouldn't want to have it any other way. And I, I love the communication department. I hold them near and dear, and I'm honored to be representing them here. And, and uh, you know, my time at Fresno State has been has been spent well, so thank you to everyone, and I'm, I'm very gracious. Our first graduate student of distinction from the Department of English is Harrison Martin, who is earning his MA in English Literature. Harrison is a Fresno State alumnus who received his BA with honors in English education with a focus on linguistics and a minor in classics. Professor Bainan explains that Harrison is a modern iteration of the Renaissance man having charted a course of study, scholarship, and community commitment. Dr. Najmi agrees, noting that Harrison is that rare find among students in any department, a true scholar. He has a genuine curiosity about the world that isn't contained within borders. And with that comes a specific kind of historical and cultural literacy. Harrison is also dedicated to sharing his curiosity with others and is already employed as a teacher of Latin, history, and language arts at the Cardin School. Congratulations, Harrison. First, I'd just like to thank the English department for nominating me for such a distinguished honor. I know that these awards and honors are typically thought of as reflections of hard work done on the nominee's part, but from my point of view, it is also a reflection of every single professor that has helped me become the scholar I am today. Specifically, I would like to thank both Dr. John Bynan and Dr. Samina Najmi for showing me how my own identity intersects with the literature that I study and for teaching me how to use that connection to explore different narratives. I would also like to express my gratitude to Dr. Christy Easton and Dr. Honora Chapman for encouraging me to pursue my interest in the classical world and for opening so many incredible opportunities for me here and abroad. For the countless others throughout the College of Arts and Humanities, I would just like to extend this honor that I am receiving to you as well, since you all played a vital role in me achieving it. Thank you. Our second graduate student of distinction from the Department of English is Jiu Zhang, who is receiving her Master's in Fine Arts in Creative Writing with a focus in nonfiction. Her culminating the thesis manuscript, How to Call a Name, Essays on Interloping and Returning, is a poignant series that centers the complexities of the Hmong identity and experience written through the lens as a Hmong woman. Jurish served as an editorial assistant for the Normal School and Spectrum, and also co-founded and is president of Hmong American Inc. and Stories, a space that reaffirms, encourages, and professionalizes Hmong writers and other marginalized voices. As Professor Maider Vang attests, Jur's work is part of the charting of a new path, the lighting of a literary torch, and the making of a way towards sustainability and preservation of a community's history. Congratulations, Jur. I'm grateful to be a student of distinction and be a part of the ceremony with fellow outstanding students. Thank you to my family for always encouraging me to pursue higher education. When I graduate this year, I will be the first in my family to obtain a master's. Thank you to my professors, my Durvang and Stephen Church for nominating me for the Dean's Graduate Medalist. Thank you overall to the MFA Creative Writing Program, the staff and the professors for your support. Thank you to friends, peers, and classmates for your voices and for the community. Because of the communities I'm in, I've been able to believe in my own voice and the power of writing my own narratives. Because of the care and the kindness I've received, I will pass it forward and continue to pave the literary path for me and other writers like me. Thank you. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of English 
is Claudia Amador, who is earning her degree in English education with a minor in theater. Claudia has presented twice at the Undergraduate Conference for Multi-Ethnic Literature in the Americas, as well as a piece titled Valeria at Fresno State's Creative Writing Future Alumni Showcase. Professor Hernandez remarks that Claudia understands her ability to affect change no matter what position she occupies, and that it is by sheer will and perseverance that social change becomes possible. After getting her credential in English education next year, Claudia is planning to pursue a graduate degree. Her future plans are to teach, using her knowledge and communication skills to advance students in the Central Valley, providing them a comprehensive, diverse, and inclusive education. Congratulations, Claudia. I want to start off by saying that it is such an honor to have made it this far in education and have that recognized by the faculty in my department. I thank you. To be chosen for this nomination based on my academic accomplishments and my passion for my studies confirms that my efforts didn't go unseen. It is validation that I'm doing something pretty okay in my life so far. Quite honestly, I was pretty shocked when I got notified and my first thought to myself was, oh my god, wait, is this what Beyonce feels like when she gets nominated for a Grammy? No wonder why they all want one. It's exhilarating. The thought that people who have taught me and have worked with me have the time, took the time to you know, see what I've done in the past few years, and they said, we're picking her, me. Overall, I've learned so much of my education through phenomenal professors and amazing opportunities at Fresno State, and I couldn't have done it without the support of faculty and especially my family. I can't wait to see what I will do with what I've learned and create some good. Thank you. And now, let us all enjoy a theatrical performance from one of the plays our talented students in the Department of Theater and Dance produced this year. Please join us in enjoying this selection from the play Dark Side, written by Tom Stoppard and directed by Kathleen McKinley. Look, there! There's a train coming through! The signal must have failed. It's speeding toward where the bridge got washed away in the flood. It's certain death for those people on that train. It's going in the river unless someone does something. Let me through. I'm a moral philosopher. Why? It's Ethics Man. Ethics Man. What's he going to do? Look, he switched the tracks. Just in time. Nice work, Ethics Man. He diverted the train onto the other track. You saved their lives, Ethics Man. You're my hero. I did what had to be done. Wait! There's some kids standing on the other track! You're right! And he doesn't see the train coming! Look out! Look out! The train went right over him! Didn't you see him there, Ethics Man? I saw him, son. Someday, you'll understand. All right, class, uh, quiet down. Hands up if you think Ethics Man did the right thing. Uh, hands up if you think Ethics Man did the wrong thing. Now, hands up if you didn't put your hands up. <laughs> yes, Miss McCoy. Who is on the train? We don't know who was on the train. Ethics Man did what had to be done. Who would like to tell me Ethics Man's moral philosophy? Yes, Miss McCoy. Who was the boy who got hit by the train? There is no boy. Uh, it's a thought experiment. We imagine a problem. By switching the tracks and sacrificing one person's life, we can save many lives. Is it a moral action? Ethics man says yes. He says an action is a moral action only if the consequences are good. He says the consequences are good if they increase the sum of human happiness. We define happiness as a state of well-being, starting off with being alive instead of dead. That 
was wonderful. Thank you so much, students, for your performance. Our graduate student of distinction from the Department of Linguistics is Jeanette Yeboah Amoako. In addition to teaching Linguistics 10, Jeanette has been apprenticing, teaching, and mentor teaching at the American English Institute. Professor Elvin explains, the academic director of AEI felt so confident in her teaching abilities that when I was looking for a mentor teacher for one of my students in spring 2020, Jeanette was recommended to provide this mentorship. Professor Wang notes that Jeanette's master's thesis, Comprehensibility, Degree of Foreign Accent and Pronunciation, a Comparison of ESL Learners' Perspectives and ESL Teachers' Assessments, will contribute new data to the field of applied phonetics and second language speech learning. Jeanette plans to teach in an intensive English program. Congratulations, Jeanette. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to express my gratitude for being chosen as a student of distinction in the College of Arts and Humanities. I would like to thank everyone on the committee who was part of um, the selection process and selecting me. And I would also like to thank everyone in the linguistics department who made it possible for me to be at this point. I especially wanna thank the department chair, my thesis chair, and all of the rest of the faculty. I also want to thank my fellow classmates who have been a part of my learning experience. And I'd like to thank everyone at the American English Institute who gave me teaching experience. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank my family and friends who have been my encouragement throughout my education. My time at Fresno State has been unique and blessed, and I know that I'm fortunate to be here. Um, this is a great school with a fantastic linguistics program. I have certainly benefited from it, and I look forward to sharing the benefits of my knowledge with others. And I've been welcomed with open arms, and so I'm very grateful for that as well. And so I just want to say that um, being chosen as a student of distinction is truly an achievement. It is truly an honor, and I'm very grateful, and so thank you for choosing me. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of Linguistics is Diamond Lowe. Diamond will be graduating with a double major in linguistics, teaching English as a second language, as well as liberal studies. Professor Chris Golston states, Diamond is thorough and consistent, hardworking and smart, all of the things you want in a student. While a student at Fresno State, she has served as an after-school paraeducator at Terranez Middle School. Diamond has already been accepted to a master's program in speech language pathology in order to help people who have suffered speech hindering traumas. In the future, she hopes to blend all of her fields of study and perhaps even teach youth communities in Asia, Africa, and South America. Congratulations, Diamond. So I would like to first and foremost, thank my mother for being my backbone and for also allowing me to stay here rent free while I pursue my my uh, my degrees. And I'd also like to thank my aunt, my sisters, my nieces and nephews for also giving me words of encouragement. I would like to thank myself for uh, getting through crunch time, getting two bachelor's degrees in and battling through anxiety. And I also would like to thank school counselors who've worked with me when I reached out to them. I would also like to thank professors who uh, encouraged me to get a master's degree. And I luckily I'm going to get, I've got accepted to San Diego State's master's program for speech pathology. And I would also like to thank the department for choosing me as a senior of distinction. And last but not least, I would like to thank my ancestors because without their fight for education, I would not be here. So thank you. Our student of distinction from the Department of Media, Communications and Journalism is Noor Sabarwal. Noor is currently a scholar in the College of Arts and Humanities Honors Program and also president of the Fresno State Chapter of the Public Relations Student Society of America. Professor Hayes states, she is a shining star and is poised to do amazing things in this profession. 
And Professor Van Leuven observes, Noor's problem-solving abilities, coupled with a sterling work ethic, make her a sought-after colleague who di displays strong interpersonal skills of time management, inspiration, and flexibility, which were evident in her multiple roles in service learning. With an impressive record of volunteering, Noor would like to work at a nonprofit in Fresno County after graduation. Congratulations, Noor. Hi everyone, my name is Noor Sabarwal and I'm a media communication and journalism major with an emphasis in public relations here at Fresno State. My parents wanted my siblings and I to have a multicultural aspect to me and us, so I completed my high school in India. The experience was very different and a little bit difficult for me, but I'm glad that I have had the experience and the best of both the worlds. When I was a freshman, I never thought that I would be given the honor of being nominated for the Dean's Medal. However, I worked, I know that I worked every day very hard, and this honor is so much more to me than just a validation. I, I wouldn't be here without my family, their amazing sport, without my cult multicultural aspect and without me getting education in both the countries. I wouldn't be here without my amazing professors. To name some, I would, I would want to name my department chair, Professor Betsy Hayes, um, Professor Nancy Van Leeuwen, Professor Ronald Orozco, who, who were with me since my first semester in school and who really challenged me to get out of my comfort zone, challenged me to do my best. And I would also like to thank Professor um, James Borwin and Professor Dr. and Dr. Pierce, who really kind of augmented my confidence in myself, my writing, my research, and every other aspect of me that would make me a good public relations a practitioner. Um, my experience at, experiences at Fresno State, all the leadership um, opportunities that has given me has really contributed to the person that I am today and without whom I wouldn't be here. And last, but definitely not the least, I would want to thank my supervisor at the American Red Cross, who really, um, again, augmented my confidence in myself, augmented my professional development, and um, who just supported me throughout everything. Our graduate student of distinction from the Department of Modern and Classical Languages and Literatures is Raquel Romero, who earned her master's degree in Spanish in December 2020. Raquel received the Dr. Cecilio Orozco Scholarship from the California Latino Leadership Network and the Edward and Alberta Brown Scholarship twice, which helped her significantly as a DACA student. Professor Medina Sancho attests to Raquel's commitment and dedication to Club Austral as its secretary. Raquel's thesis director, Professor Lemus, praises her for her careful writing and for the dedicated textual analysis she practiced in her thesis that examined how Mexican migrants have been represented in three recent works of Mexican literature. Raquel is now a Spanish teacher at Bullard High School, and she hopes to pursue a doctorate in the future. Congratulations, Raquel. I am so honored to be here with you this afternoon, and I am very thankful for this nomination. Um, I would like to thank, uh, take a moment to thank all my professors in the MCLL department for nominating me for this award, especially my Spanish professors, um, Professor Debbie Avila, Professor Paula San Martin, Professor Gloria Medina Sancho, and Professor Rafael Lemos. Thank you for your support. Um, throughout my journey at Fresno State as a graduate student and thank you for um, contributing to my thesis project. Um, I would also like to thank my family. Uh, thank you for all your support, for encouraging me every day. Thank you. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of Modern and Classical Languages and Literatures is Misha Gadia. Misha graduated in December 2020 with a Bachelor of Arts in French, as well as a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, International Business. A dedicated volunteer and a leader in a business fraternity, Misha has also served as a treasurer and a vice president of the French Club.
Professor Munoz attests to Misha's health advertising and organizing activities such as the French conversation table, cultural events, and a bus trip to the Legion of Honor Museum in San Francisco. Professor Munoz declares that Misha is a world changer. She has plans to earn her MBA, but she has told Professor Munoz that her dream is to go home to Malawi and to make a difference. Congratulations, Misha. I'm grateful to Fresno State for this opportunity. I'm honored to be one of the Dean's Medalist nominees with 15 other amazing individuals and to represent the modern and classical languages and literature department. Thank you to my parents and family for their constant support and a special thank you to my professors, Madame Munoz and Madame Kuhn for their guidance and inspiration. Thank you. Our graduate student of distinction from the Department of Music in Trumpet Performance is Jeffrey LaRose. Jeff is enthusiastic about continuing his research into the kinesiology of trumpet playing. Professor Soborowski explains that as principal trumpet, Jeff provided exemplary mentorship to other Fresno State trumpet students. Jeff has maintained a high level of professionalism and scholarship while also working as a full-time band, percussion, and orchestra director at Glacier Point Middle School. Professor McKeithen praises Jeff for serving at a low socioeconomic school, bringing the joy and benefits of music to students who really need it in their lives. Professor Gilroy has noted that among other accolades, Jeff's program at Glacier Point has won top honors in California Music Educator Association events, as well as Music in the Park. Jeff will surely continue to inspire his students and to mentor new teachers. Congratulations, Jeff. Really uh, unbelievably honored and grateful to uh, the music staff uh, at Fresno State. Just amazing uh, to just be honored among all my peers to represent the music school as uh, the nominee for the Dean's Medalist. Um, so many wonderful students, and I was, it was just an honor just to be uh, recognized in the pot and uh, to be uh, nominated. And, um, it's just been an amazing experience, and I just want to thank all my professors um, for uh, recognizing me in this way. And uh, coming from the, you know, Fresno State, the institution that really made me the musician and the teacher I am, uh, it's such a humbling and honoring uh, experience, and just uh, to be honored in this way. So anyway, thank you so much. Uh, in particular, I do want to thank uh, Dr. Gilroy for uh, uh, encouraging me to pursue my advanced degree. Uh, without him, I probably would have, um, uh, you know, he was that final push that helped me um, pursue this and I wouldn't have been here without him. Uh, Dr. Soborowski, uh, such a great guide and teacher and he really has helped improve my playing and he's helped, helped me to find my own voice in my, uh, in my trumpet playing. So I just want to thank him so much for being a wonderful teacher and also for nominating me for the award. And uh, again, I want to thank Dr. Gilroy and Mr. McKeithen for advocating for me. Uh, they, you wrote both some wonderful things for me uh, and you both saw some things in me that I sometimes don't see or I'm sometimes too critical to see. So thank you for seeing some things in me that Sometimes I don't. And I uh, also want to thank my wife Shannon and our two kids, Lily and Finley. Uh, both have uh, sacrificed so much for me during this time, and my wife in particular, who has been an amazing support. And I, I just couldn't have really, could not have done it without her. I want to thank my family my, my dad, my mom, my stepdad, my stepmom, and my wife's uh, parents. Just super encouraging and giving a, a me and the family to support and uh, and thank you for allowing me to talk a year off about my studies and uh, my work. I want to thank Mrs. McKeithen uh, and everyone at work for being a tremendous support and uh, Mrs. McKeithen is such a wonderful advocate for the arts and for me and just thank you for all that you've done during this time for, uh, for me and lastly I want to thank my students uh, have all been a tremendous support uh, in the journey being uh, you know they've been along for the ride and they love me to talk their ear off about what we're, what we're doing here, and um, they're always pushing me to be at my best. So, and uh, just a big thank you again to uh, all the professors. Thank you to Dr. Chapman and Dr. LaPorta for considering me and um, 
uh, anyway, just thank you all. It's such a tremendous honor. So thank you so much. Our undergraduate student of distinction from the Department of Music is John Spankowski. John is in the Smith Camp Family Honors College and completed the College of Arts and Humanities Honors Program while serving as a student ambassador for our college and performing community service. An advocate for the future Bachelor of Music degree, John is now president of both the National Association for Music Education Student Chapter and the Fresno State Composers Guild. Professor Boone states that during the pandemic, John has fostered a sense of community and of belonging in the composition studio, studio, a Herculean feat. Though John could have continued his major in civil engineering, he chose instead to pursue a music degree in the instrumental music education option so that he can continue giving back to his community by becoming a music teacher at Los Banos High School, his alma mater. Congratulations, John. I would like to start by thanking the faculty and staff of the Fresno State Music Department, uh, whose commitment to the scholarly achievement of their students has afforded me opportunities to explore and grow beyond textbook curriculum and develop an inclination towards lifelong learning. To my professors, both past and present, thank you for your time, your flexibility, and most importantly, your patience. It has not gone unnoticed and will not soon be forgotten by me. I would like to thank the peers who I now have the privilege of calling my friends. I am convinced that some of life's strongest bonds are forged in the drapery of sleep deprivation and late night study sessions. Thank you for the great times and the even greater friendships. And lastly, I would like to extend my deepest appreciation and love to my parents, Jack and Holly. Uh, choosing a career in the arts can sometimes be an intimidating pursuit, to say the least, and your unyielding support and affirmation has given me a base to lean on, and the confidence to embrace my life goals with eagerness and excitement. Thank you. And congratulations to all my peers who are here today. Our student of distinction from the Department of Philosophy is Caleb Charles. Caleb transferred from Fresno City College, where he had entered into the Central Valley Pathway to Law program. Professor Rocha states that it was an honor to have Caleb represent the pathway to statewide Cal Law leaders. Professor Cusick notes that Caleb finds ways to help answer other students' questions, to push their interpretations of dense text, and to think carefully about the implications of any given philosophical theory. After the brutal death of George Floyd, Caleb helped form the Kingsburg Make a Change organization. And at a unity rally in Selma, Caleb gave a speech and then led kneeling for eight minutes, 46 seconds. Caleb already serves as an advocate in municipal court downtown, and he plans to attend UC Berkeley Law School on the pathway. His career goal is to become a civil rights attorney for the NAACP. Congratulations, Caleb. Greetings, my name is Caleb Charles and it is a great honor to be here today at the Arts in Motion ceremony as the student of distinction for the Fresno State Philosophy Department. I wanna begin by thanking Deans Honora Chapman and Sergio Laporta, the College of Arts and Humanities and the advisory board for putting together this momentous event. Next, I wanna thank the respectable chairperson, Dr. Robert Maldonado, professors Dr. James Rocha and Dr. Andrew Faala and the faculty of the philosophy department for selecting me to be the 2021 student of distinction. It goes without saying that this pandemic has brought many challenges and has required us all to adapt. Nevertheless, I appreciate the time, effort, and commitment our educators put in towards providing my fellow students and I with a learning experience that we can flourish in. And last but not least, I want to express my gratitude to my mother, father, grandmother, family, friends, community, and God for their continuous support of me. I could not be where I am today without all of you because of how much you all mean to me. Thank you. Our final student of distinction is from the Department of Theater and Dance, Tea Juarez. A theater arts acting major with a minor in philosophy, Tea is also in our college's honor program. Writing an original full-length play based on Blue's Clues. Professor Gibson praises Taya for writing an experimental theater play as well, including directing and editing it. 
stating that both plays contain stylistic flair and nice rhetorical turns. Professor Payne observes, what impressed me the most, both in person and then in virtual, was Taya's maturity in the group collaboration. She is, while she had a lot to say and show in the group, she is also very adept at creating a space where her group members felt empowered to add to the discussion. She is a thoughtful and considerate collaborator. Taya has received full funding to pursue graduate study at Villanova this coming fall. Congratulations, Taya. I would like to thank uh, first Dr. Gina Sandy Diaz for really prioritizing just the well-being and the success of her students and for being willing to go above and beyond having her office door open to those who need to talk. Um, I'd also like to thank Professor Elizabeth Payne for also going above and beyond for her students and being a resource so that students who are graduating really feel like they have a strong idea of where they want to go and that they're supported in that. And then most importantly, I'd like to thank Dr. Melissa Gibson, uh, not only for being an outstanding professor, but for being uh, an amazing advisor and for being my mentor for the honors program this semester. All three of these people are just so important to my goals in my future and ensuring that I feel really strongly that I'll be successful in the future and just making me feel supported and feeling like there's people who are cheering me on and so excited when I find success. So I just want to send a big thank you to all three of them for just being the most important people in my life and my education. And now let us enjoy an inspiring dance performance from our contemporary dance ensemble called Directions one breath at a time, under the artistic directorship of Kenneth Balin. Te conviene no decirme que me quieres Prefiero que te alejes Prefiero que me dejes sola Conviene no andar firmando papeles Ni subir los decibeles Cuando estoy cerca de ti Yo no soy el tipo de mujer Con quien tu mamá te quiere ver Me hacen falta tantas cosas Y me fallan tantas otras Nunca te podría complacer Ellas son fieles, ellas son santas, ellas son buenas, perdonan calladas, no se necesitas, no piden nada, yo no te podría complacer, no soy ese tipo. And Interim Associate Dean Sergio Laporta and I are so excited to be celebrating these students of distinction with all of you. Aren't they just amazing? And many thanks to all of today's performers. We're so happy to have learned this week that our contemporary dance ensemble that you just saw perform was awarded gala status at the recent American College Dance Association's virtual conference. And now it's time to present the College of Arts and Humanities 2021 Graduate and Undergraduate Deans Medalists. You all by now must realize what a difficult task it is to select two students to be medalists from among the 16 incredibly accomplished students that we have honored this afternoon. Thankfully, 
a subcommittee of the advisory board assists the deans with making this decision. We truly appreciate the board members who served on this important subcommittee. We are very pleased now to announce the college's graduate Dean's Medalist, who becomes a contender for the university graduate medalist, the highest honor the university bestows on a graduate student at commencement. First, the two honorable mentions for the graduate Dean's Medalist are Victoria Cisneros from Communication and Jer Zhang from the MFA in Creative Writing. Please give them a warm round of applause. And this year's College of Arts and Humanities Graduate Dean's Medal goes to Harrison Martin from the Department of English. Harrison will receive an additional $500 award from the Dean's Council and a plaque. Let's give Harrison a warm round of applause. Would you like to say a few words, Harrison? Uh, yes, wow, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm just so tremendously honored to have been chosen for this. Uh, as I've progressed through my degrees here at Fresno State, I truly feel like I have become a product of the arts and humanities. I've learned to speak professionally from communication classes, how to dissect and understand the intricacies of languages from linguistics classes, how to approach a tough translation from Latin and ancient Greek classes, and ultimately how to appreciate and offer new perspectives on the literature that I love from the English department. Uh, to now have the opportunity to represent our whole college is so fulfilling because I feel like in some small way, I'm paying back all of those great lessons and skills I've learned from all of the amazing professors and colleagues here. Uh, so thank you so much to my friends and family and all of those here at Fresno State who have contributed to my studies and success. I truly think of this honor as yours since I am only the scholar I am today because of all the amazing support and love you have shown me. Uh, so thank you, thank you. Okay, the two runners up for the undergraduate Dean's Medalist will be the standard bearers at this year's college commencement, which will be held with a limited number of attendees and careful safety protocols at Bulldog Stadium in May. This year's runners up are Taya Juarez from Theater and Dance and John Spankowski from Music. Please give them a warm round of applause. It now gives me great pleasure to announce this year's College of Arts and Humanities undergraduate Dean's Medalist, Caleb Charles from the Department of Philosophy. Caleb will receive an additional $500 award from the Dean's Council and a plaque. Please give Caleb a warm round of applause. Would you like to say a few words, Caleb? Absolutely. This is incredible, and I feel truly honored to accept this. I, I want to thank Dean's Honorary Chapman and Sergio Laporta, the, the philosophy department, and really the College of Arts and Humanities as a whole for selecting me to be your 2021 Dean's Medalist. What a beautiful moment this is. I, I promise to represent our college with honor and integrity and be the best Dean's Medalist that I can be. And last but not least, I truly wanna thank my mom for her continuous love and support of me. Thank you all for being here today. What a wonderful, what a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you, Caleb. Before we bid you farewell, there is a large group of VIPs that we must recognize. The key to the success of all our students is a loving and supportive group of family and friends that sustains them through every trial and celebrates every success. A big round of applause for the family and friends of our students of distinction. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us virtually to celebrate our college's students. We are so proud of all of you students, and we know that you will transform the world with your humanity and creativity after you graduate. We look forward to seeing all of you again at future Fresno State events in the virtual realm this spring, and to seeing our graduates in person at this year's commencement in Bulldog Stadium. In the meantime, 
Please take care, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining us.